What's your name? Uh, my name is Celeste Manning. I'm originally from Black Mesa in Hawk, Arizona. I'm with, I'm with Indigenous Youth for Cultural Survival, which is a mainly a Diné youth, Navajo youth um, group. But we also work with a lot of Latino, Black folks, White folks, uh, uh, just overall supporting Indigenous youth and uh, advocating for them culturally and overall living in border towns. A lot of them can't and don't have resources to connect to their culture in that way. So we have first-hand experience dealing with that as in a youth and also a lot of racism that happens in and around Arizona is another thing that we help them deal with and re look for them look for outlets for them to deal with those in positive manners. Right on. And, and specifically right now with what's, I don't know, with the climate of what's going on in Trumpa clan, um, you know, just in t terms of the support and the ways that, that folks are already dealing with racist America, AKK, um, what would your message be out to other indigenous youth, poor youth, youth of color? Uh, my message would be to link up, you know, they are not alone in many ways, you know, I know a lot of the time it feels that way, you know, whether you're in a specific neighborhood, a specific area that you live in, you know, you have to reach out to your indigenous people of color, brothers and sisters, you know, we're, we're all feeling the same thing, you know, we're feeling that fear, we're feeling the vulnerability, walking around, you know. So like that's the best thing I could say is like you know y'all have to come together and talk about it you know have real feelings you know don't be afraid to fucking be like oh, you know I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring Ashay. but we're gonna look out for each other that's what's up and you know we're gonna have each other's back to the fullest extent because you know like our existence matters you know oh. just because one person is a fucking <laughs> is, okay, is, uh, is a really, you know, messed up person and uh, don't even want to... Right, I feel you. Not even that reality yet, you know? Right, not even... It's still it's, hitting. I haven't fully processed it. For but sure. To say that someone like that basically pulls the trigger for everybody. Yeah. You know, the best thing is we got to stay together. Right. And, just remember that we're not in it alone. You know? That's what's up. And yeah. last thing is, in terms of decolonization, like are y'all taking back languages or some like? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, one of the one of the things our youth group does, uh, we teach uh, cultural practices that have been passed on to us. We do teachings. We do uh, on hands exercises like sheet preparations, uh, whether it's making traditional skirts. You know, uh, we have uh, people who teach us those things. And then we become the teachers for people who are younger for us in and out of border towns. That's and we're, we're passing on that knowledge. And we're also learning those ourselves. You know, it's, a, it's a learning process for everybody. That's what's know? up. So we have a saying at Poor Magazine and People School, uh, you know, poverty scholarship. My, my story is my story, you know, and, and, and I need to write it for myself. It sounds like that's what y'all are doing. That's beautiful. Um, all power to the people. Any last things you'd like to say? Uh, I would just say, you know, there's a lot of hardship people are going through right now. But, you know, you have to reach out to your community. You know, that's like the one thing that I learned. You keep that shit bottled up. You know, there are outlets for everything. You know, whether it's your outlet is something physical, you know, something art related. You know, someone in your community is going to help you. You know, you just got to reach out and find them. That's what's up. Thank you.